So I'm Liz Shea. I'm um, basically, I just sort of want to clarify, I'm, I'm a choreographer who uses new media, not a new media specialist who dabbles in choreography. It's quite the other way around. Um, I do lots of things um, without new media, just traditional choreography, and I've actually been doing a lot of that lately as, as I've had to sort of do some traveling um, around with my work. But I'm, I'm very interested as an artist in the use of technology and new media as a way to expand choreographic choices. And for me, that's where the interest of new media can come in. Um, you know, there, I think there's always the, the tendency for artists to use it because you can and because it's there. And I think at some point you have to kind of come back to does it really inform your artistry and the direction that you want to go. So just briefly a little bit of my history with this. I started with just um, plain old pro hand projection for some early works, um, then moving into a very, very short scene uh, working with Rob Shakespeare. And I have a little video, and we'll see maybe at the end if you watch, maybe not. But um, Rob actually built this uh, sort of three-dimensional um, sonography that was all computer generated and it, it looks real when you see it um, and it also travels sort of through um, uh, sort of a sun salutation during the course of an evening it's quite beautiful but that was just you know a very small piece 90 seconds that took about 20 hours of then <laughs> computer rendering so that was all we could do that first haul um, I'm interested in live sort of live interactions with with um, technology and dance. And this was my first foray with Jeff Haas. We um, used a program called Isadora Software, which has come a long way since we used it this very first time. And it crashed on opening night. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like they say, when you walk on the edge, you might bleed sometimes. <laughs> and a little bit of bleeding. Um, yeah, the program was unstable. And unfortunately, we had linked the music to it as well. Mm -hmm. So everything shut down. Um, yeah. So we learned when we did the <laughs> next project, um, we had three computers, the spare ones lined up, and nothing was linked together. So one thing going back that we learned with Isadora, this is live feed video tracking. So if this gentleman is videoing me, and let's say it's hooked up to Isadora, and Isadora um, is going to spit back out exactly what it's taped. Right. So um, maybe you're just wanting to see me sort of transformed, um, but you're also going to get the table and the computer. So Rob, the genius that he was, um, figured a way using infrared light just to solely focus on the figures. It's really fantastic. But again, this is not a portable scenario. This is four infrared lights. This is three computers, three projectors, <coughs> a lot backup, 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 lots of things going on. Um, but the Isadora software then can reproduce an image live. There is a slight delay, so um, this photo sort of is nice and works because the figure is the same live dancer you see in front. So she's coming out of that, out of that posture, um, moving on. But it was actually very nice. And originally we thought, oh, we didn't see the delay coming, but it, it ended up to be quite beautiful, one of those happy accidents. And then this is another photograph um, that you see the um, sort of uh, white and blue blurry lined figures. Those are actually Isadora rendered images of the dancers live. So it's quite fascinating what this program can do. And it's much more stable now. Um, theater uses it. Everybody <laughs> uses it. It's a lot safer than it I feel better about things now. But yeah, we, we got kind of cold feet there for a little bit. Um, so, just moving forward, um, the other project I want to talk about, so that was sort of live feed video tracking, and um, that, that's really informative for certain, I think, certain kinds of dance performance when you want to get a little more um, intimacy with the performer can be really wonderful. Um, another thing I was interested in, this was actually my IDA project, was using motion capture technology. And I was lucky to have access to a very expensive system. This was a Qualysis system. The cameras were set up in our dance studio. We have a very large dance space. And there's Rachel getting sensorized um, along all different parts of her body. Um, 
Robin and Sharon are my assistants there working on things. And of course, you know, there's all, always some kinds of problems. Robin was able to sort of get a read on the data points that Rachel was manufacturing. So um, let's say during the, this is just a snapshot <coughs> of what Robin was seeing and some of the initial data that we were getting from Rachel doing various kinds of movements. There were problems, the sensors were falling off, the floor was reflecting, and the light, oh my gosh, it just went on and on. She couldn't really move near as extensively as we thought she'd be able to and still be captured properly. Um, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so, um, but this is all for a 10 second video. <laughs> Go girl. Um, it's so neat though. Thank you, Jane. Yeah, it's cool. We'll have to watch it again. Oh, okay. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. all right. We won't watch it again. Um, but anyway, yeah. So that's the sort of the direct video rendering that we got from Rachel's body. And I, I just want to say, Rachel has a very unique body. She has extra long arms and legs. So. Um, the thing that was sort of interesting when, we, when all was said and done, I, I think the unexpectedness was that she, her persona, would be so represented in this motion capture rendering, which was really, it was pretty amazing. All right, so we had to go to the ergonomics lab because of our faulty Marley and, and this, you know, so we got a little better picture here. Um, so after that video rendering that you saw, Sharon Ju, a visual artist, took that rendering and transformed it beautifully into movement. And here's some photographs. So this actually, this particular design that you see was the same video rendering that I just saw you, that I just showed you. And she's performing the same movement rolling on the floor. So basically her arms are out in front and we had the sensors all the way down her arms when we created that movement. Now, in a sense, this was also performed live because Sharon had to track it. So um, it was projected on a front scrim, which you can't see. So imagine a proscenium stage with a cyclorama in the back, front scrim in the front. Uh, the nutcracker. So you know, the party scene when it all opens up, there's always that projection. The scrim comes up, it goes away. The scrim stayed down, but that allowed the images to be played in front of Rachel. But Sharon had to, with her mouth, she was up in the lighting booth, had to track them across the dancers. That took a little bit of practice, and she was quite nervous. She was shaking a little bit, and she said, I've never performed before, so that was <laughs> one. Um, so here are just some other photographs from the work. And it's a little, you can see this one up here. But the whole idea was to use motion capture to extend Rachel's body. And I remember when I first proposed this project to Ida, I think we were maybe in the same group, and I think it was John said, is there an easier way to do this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have to go through all this? And I thought, well, there might be. We'll find that out. Um, but what I said, do you have to use motion capture? But what I found out, yes. Yeah, I really, for the effect I wanted, and, and really working with her body and seeing her shapes and her representation of her movement, it was really quite interesting. That particular image, that is taken from the exact movement that she's doing. So it really is the, her bones, you know, and you can see that, it was quite stunning. Um, we also did some uh, less techy kinds of stuff. This was yeah, filmed with a bunch of kids and a green screen, and that was challenging in its own special way. <laughs> um, but this is also just, hand video Final Cut Pro. So we had to use several projectors. So these projectors were actually on stage coming um, coming from the top and then the um, motion captured images were coming from the front. So more hand video. And I'd be happy to, I think we're out of time, but I'd be happy to send you the link if you'd like to watch the work or I can just kind of let it play while people whine. And, you know, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, that's all.